Hello YouTubers, this is Johnny. Welcome to my NASAC YouTube channel. Uh, in my previous videos, I introduced how to install XRDP and do RDP into CentOS 7. I have two videos talking about that um, in last two years. Um, unfortunately, uh, RDP to remote Linux machine using uh, XRDP server is very slow. Um, so there's uh, some comments to say uh, how to make it be faster. Uh, even using the XFCE, I tried that. It's still not that uh, uh, fast enough. So in this video, I'm going to introduce using VNC and XFCE to do uh, RD, to do remote session, um, which is much faster than using the XRDP protocol. So let's start it. Um, first, of course, um, we need to have a CentOS installation. I already created um, um, Google Cloud uh, VPS as server. So that's going to be used as demo for today. And connecting through web browser, um, basically uh, the browser is connecting to cloud identity proxy server, transferring SSH keys to the VM and then using SSH key uh, to log in. Um, So first thing to do for me to make my life easier is I'm going to enable password authentication. Uh, from there, then we're going to use in a party to connect into, and then we can do lots of copy paste commands to run uh, rather than to use in a web session here. First thing is to change the password for my user, John Nasek. So you can see all authentication token updated successfully. The second thing we're going to do is going to, we're going to change the SSHD configuration file. So you can search password. Then you should be able to see password authentication has been disabled before. Let's make that change. Of course, you need to restart the SSD service. Now let's launch the party session. I'm using um, remote ng as my SSH client. We logged in with our SSH client and remote ng. Um, there's one thing I would like to change is the swap size file. Um, right now, the swap is zero. We didn't configure anything, and our memory is only 600, around 600 meg. So free is only 280 meg bytes left. Um, so we have to increase our swap size. Um, so swap partition size here, we're going to change it to one gig. Uh, we don't have, we're going to go into doesn't work. We have to use in this command dd command to create in a one gig size file. And then we're going to mount it to our uh, partition file system. So make this as our swap file. And enable it. And we're going to change our fs tab file to 
set one line in. Then that's it. Now we got a one gig swap file. Um, one last thing before we can start to install a software, we have to update uh, our system file. Um, we are going to leave it there and then we will come back once it's done. Upgrade has been completed. Now we can continue our installation. install our XFCE this is also gonna take a while I cannot pause here and come back once it's done okay next step install Tiger VNC server We're going to create in a new user uh, for the VNC connection. Um, that will be I'm creating a John as our user. Uh, next step. You're gonna log in as John. Okay, we're gonna create in our password, which is required to log into VNC server and the view only password. Perfect. We can see our VNC survey session one has been created. It's not yet. Let's try to start with it. And we will see the list. It's not starting. There's no VNC server started yet, so we have to finish the configuration. Let's do... So that's our standard VNC X startup configuration. We can uh, change that. And I create our new one. Now we need to create in system D unit file start a service. Gonna make some changes on the service section.
okay we made some changes on the service section so save um, we need to notify system we made some changes and then we're gonna start our service And we're gonna check our service status. It's perfect, it's running. And it's running on the John, so we can go to John to and check the status. It's there, session one. Now we're gonna do our connection with our VNC viewer. Connect. So we type in our password. It's not showing the uh, screen yet. We're gonna reboot our system and give it a try again. Let's start the register service. And enable it. Okay, it's running. Let's try again. Usually we have to Change our settings. Give it to the again. So we need to copy the default resource. This default resource is file, and we need to make uh, the X startup executable. Just check both files. Okay. And then I'm going to report again. Let's see, remember password.
we are in now. So basically, that was um, causing by without the proper actual resources file. So once we have that, so it is uh, quite fast from my point of view, much faster than XRDP. Um, I can I can complain. So it's running well. May need to install some applications here, but uh, totally it's it it's a workable environment for our for your GUI. That's all for my VNC server installation video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you.